Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to start with a new topic that is factorization. So let us see in short what is factorization first. So factorization means that is a breaking a number or it can be an algebraic expression into a product of its factor that multiplied to give the original. So just we can see this one with the help of the example now they said breaking a number or an algebraic expression so this is a number if we break this one so 12 the factors of 12 will be 2 2 and 3 so 2 multiplied by this so when you so to give the original means when you multiply this together you again you get it you get the original that is 12 same or an algebraic expression now suppose this is an algebraic expression so what we do for this one for the quadratic this is in the form of a quadratic equation why because it is ax square it is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c so what we do here now this the coefficient of x square is one and this is six so what we do we multiply this first this are the three terms one two and three so we can say the first term the middle term and the last term so we multiply the coefficient of the first term and the last term so 1 into 6 is 6. So we take the 6 factors of 6. That, that will be 2 and 3. So this is the middle term. So this is 5. So we have to arrange these factors in such a way that we get 5. So it is going to be. So like, uh, let me show you here. That is going to be 3x plus 2x plus 6. So what we can do. We can do the grouping. This 2 and this 2. So from this one x is common. So what remains in the bracket x plus 3 this plus sign as it is and from this one 2 is common so this will be x plus 3 so now what you can see in the bracket this x plus 3 and x plus 3 both are the same i'll just write it here so this will be x plus 3 we can just write it once and whatever is outside the bracket that is x plus 2 so this is what is written either you write x plus 3 first or x plus 2 because there is a multiplication sign both is the same either you write this way or this way both is the same so again when you multiply this one you are going to get the same expression so that is the we say to give the original hope this is clear so now let us start with the exercise the common factor of these are the term this is an expression given so these are the three terms so what we can see here in this one six first let us take the coefficient of that one so this 16 12 and 20 so here how to find the common actually we have to take the scf so here what you can see there is this is multiplied by two this also by two and this also two but that will not be the highest one so we have to see that will be we have to take the scf of this one so 16 12 and 20. so here will be four will be the highest one so this also can be divided by four this also by four and this also by four so four fours are four threes are and four fives are so all this this four will be the common for the coefficient now let us see the a term so here what we can see so which will be common we can see just here single a here is two and two but there will be one just single a so this will be common now let us go for the b1 so again we can see here is just one so we have to just take one because here if you are taking b square we don't have your b square but we just have one b now let us see for c so again that will be was just c so the common factor will be 4 a b c the common factor in the expression this is the expression b1 is so now again we will first see the coefficient of it so what we can see here 2 because this is the least one so this also is divisible by 2 and but then this is just 2 we can if this was there we could have taken 4 but now here we have 2 so we have to take just 2 now we'll go for x so here is just 1x so we'll just take x now we'll go for y so here is just 1y so we'll take y so the common factor will be 2xy find the common factors of the following term so now what will you do this is a common between so we'll write this one below the other so 
Now first we'll take the coefficient. So we'll take the factors of 24, 2 twelves are, 2 six are, 2 threes are, and 3 ones are. So these are the factors of it. So this is here written here, and then x and then y. Same for a. We'll take the factors of a. So that will be 2, 2, 2, and then y and z. So why are we writing one below the other? So we can easily see which is common. So now see here, this 2 is common for both of them. This 2 is common for both of them. This 2 is common for both of them. We don't have 3. So now here, what we have just common is y. We don't have x and z. So now what will you do here? That will be, this was common. So 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, and this just y. So the common factors are, that will be 8y. Now look, at this problem here, again here actually it's very easy, it is just multiplied by 3 into 5. Again this will be a into a and this is going to be just b. So for this 12, 12 will be 2 6 are, 2 3 are and 3 ones are. So these are the factors of it. Then a and this b square means twice b. Now here what we can see this and this is common. This and this is common and this and this is common. So that is going to be common factors will be 3, A, B. Now here, we can see here that is 21 means 3 sevens are. So this will be P four times and Q square will be two times. So now this is minus 14 means minus uh, 2 into 7. This is going to be 2 times and this is going to be 4 times. Now here 5 sevens are. This is going to be 3 times and this is going to be 3 times. So now what we can see 7, 7, 7, all 3 places 7. Here this will be P will be all 3 places here. Again this P is here, all 3 places. Then Q. And again, once we can see Q here. So what we can write? 7, P square, Q square. So those are the common factors. Now for this one, this again, this also will write one below the other. So for 25, that is only possibility 5 into 5, A and B. For 50, the factors are going to be 2 25s are, 5 fives are, and 5 ones are. So these are the factors of it. So B and C. Now for 30, 2 15s are, 3 5s are, and 5 1s are. So these are the factors. So now A, B, and C. So all three places you can see 5. Here you can see B. So that's all. So the common factors are 5, B. Now look at this problem here. So now again this is in the form of an like expression. So this will be 3 fives are and this as it is. So for 12, the factors of 12 are 2 into 2 into 3. And this one 3, uh, sorry, this is xy plus 4. We can write here twice because whenever there is a square here, so that is means the same bracket is multiplied twice. So here this one and this one. So now what you can see the common, this 3 is common and this whole bracket is once. So that also is common. So common factors is 3 into xy plus Factor is the following algebraic expression. So this is the expression B1. So in this one, what we can see, this is the HCF is going to be 9. When you take for 9 and 72, HCF is going to be 9. So from this, we'll just write here 9. And what remains here is X, this minus sign as it is. And this is 72. So 9, 8 is 72. So this is going to be, this is the answer. Now this, in this one, what, if you get confused, you can just go one below the other and see what is common. If you don't know directly to do, so the same thing what you have done here, you can write here one below the other and take the common ones. So because now this is a, these are the small numbers, what I am seeing here, this 16 and 24, when you take the HCF of that, that the common is going to be 8 because this also is, uh, we can divide it by 8 and this also by 8. So that is the max what we can do. That is the SCF of it. So this will be 8 for this coefficient. Now we will see for A. 
a this is 13 and this is 7 so that common can be only a is to 7 now this b b is to 7 and b is to 11 so the common is just going to be b is to 7 so these are the common one now let us see what remains in the bracket now from this one we have taken 8 so 8 to the 16 because this is 16 so the coefficient part is over now you will see for the a so we already have a 7 here so we need to make it to 13 we need a raised to 6 because you know the law a raised to m into a raised to n that is going to be a raised to m plus n we have seen in the exponents so that will be 7 plus 6 that is going to be 13 and now this b raised to 7 is already here so there is no b, uh, b part over here now this minus is going to be as it is so now this is 24 so 8 3 is a 24 and here now we have a raised to 7 so we already have a raised to 7 so we don't have to write anything for a now we have here b raised to 11 so b raised to 7 is here so you need extra 4 so 7 plus 4 that is going to be 11 so this is the answer now same for this one what you can see 2 is going to be common because 2 we'll see the coefficient 2 10 and 14 so 2 is going to be common now let us see for x so x cube x square and x so x will be common now let us go for this part so y is going to be common so the common part is over now let us see what remains in the bracket now we will go for the first term we have two so we already have two so here there will be nothing we have here x cube but here is just x so we need two more to make it to x cube because this x means there will be x this to one so one plus two is going to be three now we need this y square so we already have one y so this we need one more one plus one is going to be two so this part is over now let us go for this one this is plus so write plus as it is this is 10 so you have two here two five is a 10 now x square x into x that is going to be x square y cube y into y square is going to be y cube so this is also over now the third term is minus as it is this is 14 so 2 7s are 14 this is x so we already have x over here so we need not write anything there y again we have here so this that will be just 7 so when you multiply this into this you get the same as 14 x square now these three terms so what we can see here this is divisible by 9 so we'll take 9 here now let us see for x so this we have x common now let us see for y that is we just have to write y z here that is a z now let us go for the these are the common ones now let us go for the first term 18 so we need 9 is already here 9 to the 18 this is x square so x into x now this is y so just y alone here we don't have to write anything z z is already here so we don't have to write anything over here this is plus sign as it is here this is 36 so 9 4s are 36 go step by step so there won't be any mistake this is x we already have x over here so yeah there's nothing this is y square y into y and z z is already over here so nothing over here so this part is done now this is plus this is 27 so 9 3 is a 27 this is x so already x we have over here this is y already have y over here z square means we have to write here this is a one z so one z is over here. if we multiply this and this we get same as this one so now these are the three terms from this one the common this is divisible by 18 this also by 18 and this also by 18 so we'll write here 18 now let us see the is so this will be a square will be the common b b square is going to be common and c c square is going to be common so these are the common factors now let us go for the first term we have 36 so 18 twos are 36 now a square here is already a square b square already b square c square already c square so here will be just two this minus sign as it is this let us go for the second term 54 18 3 is a 54 now a a square is here so we need one more a b cube 
B square is just one more B and C cube means C square is just one more C. Now this plus as it is, this is 72, 18 fours are 72. So now A, we have two A's here, so we need two more. B4, so two more. C4, so again here, two more. So this is done. Now this three terms. So what we can see 15, this is 15 and this is 15, it is divisible by 15. So we write here 15. Now for M, so we can just write one M for N, just one N. So now let us go for the first term. This is 15 is already here. M squared. So we have just one M here. So one more needed here. N here. So N here. So done. So this is minus here. 45. 15 threes are 45. M1. So M is just one here over here. N square, so n is here one, so this will be one more here n plus 75. 15, 5 is 75. M, m is just one here, n, n is just one, so nothing over here. So this is the answer.